Yeah, I think the defense. Um, you know, over our past couple of games, we've been giving up 100 plus. Um, you know, you, you're not going to win at a high rate, especially if you don't have an efficient offense. Do you get a sense in here that with each loss, that it's sort of the reality of setting in that the playoffs are becoming more and more uncertain? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we're, we was holding on at six for so long, and you know now we're we're what, half a game up on on the eighth spot. So, um, you know, it's 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 gut checking time. You know, it's been gut checking time, but you know now we're really uh, on the hot seat, and uh, we got to figure it out. We got to get it done, man. We got to close the season yeah. out right. With a handful of games left, what does this team need to do to scrape and claw? Keep that final playoff or, or at least one of the seventh race or sixth seed right now. We gotta win, man. Playing simple. Man, you said it. You gotta scrape the ball and do whatever it takes to get to it. There's no X's and O's you can draw up. You just gotta go out there and do it. I think you guys have a couple of games get 100 plus points defensively. Is there any quick fix right now? <sighs> we gotta. We gotta play harder, man. We gotta. You gotta suck, suck up the fatigue. Everybody's tired and just leave. So we gotta go out there and play. I walk in those locker room, everyone just you can see the frustration building. How tough is it when you've had that playoff or and you're fighting? Do you have any camp that's kind of just slowly slipping through your fingers? That's, that speaks for itself. That's obviously yeah. pressure. There's no words I can say about that. Do you, do you feel like now it's just there are certain games where little things can sort of negate your guys's? Positive plays at yeah, because we keep talking about the same little things. It's not like it's a different little thing. It's the same little thing. It's rebounding. It's not playing hard. It's slow start. It's the same. It's not like a different matchup presented a different problem or this and that. And that can be nice like that too. But I think majority of the time we keep talking about the same thing. Um, and we just gotta. It's hard to say. What's that? <laughs> about to be April first. So. With the with a handful of games left, is there a sense of desperation almost to cling to that playoff spot? Should have been now? desperation weeks ago. Yeah, should have been happy. I don't think. It's, uh, I mean, I, I I feel like it is. And I'm not saying everybody else does it, but we should have been thinking that. I think I think you know, I, mean, I, I think you know. I mean, we better know. <laughs> the standings don't show it. I mean, some got to show. I think we know. And I think it's just about. We talked about it in Memphis. You put your back on the wall, and you going you gonna get clawed down and you're gonna fight your way out of there. So, you know, how bad you want it? How tough is that when you have this whole team fighting? They want the playoffs. It's kind of just the kind of how, how tough is that? I, it's, it's definitely frustrating when we look around. You can see that on the floor sometimes. And that's when we try to, I try to do it. Uh, my job is as a guy kind of off the bench now with energy or just speaking from the sidelines. And when I come in with that energy, just reminding each other, it's one play at a time. And I mean, we got back in the game and we got it down to 10 and had a chance to keep, keep pushing towards me like three or four minutes left, which is more than enough time. The talent is there, the, 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 um, the desperation you speak of to really start that jump ball. Um, and I think mean, we playing hard. I don't think we're not playing hard, but I think it's, I'll be gassed up. He's your foot all the way down. Like we, we shorthanded, but there's still enough people over there. Like, you gotta ask for a break. You gotta ask for a break, you get back in the game. We got guys that can hold the fort down for the most part. That's what um, we've been talking about lately, just leaving it out there. Let's figure out the rest when we get to that point when we can't go. But uh, we just got to keep playing. The Raptors raised their level of play midway through that third quarter. Just what did you see that, that made the clear difference from them sort of going from an evenly matched up to them sort of starting to get the, the will to, to how tough you guys? Yeah, and that's the thing that, you know, we have seen, uh, you know, from teams is, uh, you know, second half, the, the, the level of play, uh, you expect that uh, to go up. And, uh, you know, teams have, have done that. We haven't you know, necessarily responded uh, quick enough and long enough uh, in these games. And uh, you got to do that, you know. Uh, I think in any game, but certainly uh, these games where we're playing against uh, solid teams, you know, you just can't give uh, Toronto uh, 16 offensive rebounds, 20 second chance points. You can't turn the ball over 14 times. And you can't allow uh, them to march to the free throw 35 times. So, you know, it's a good team and uh, a 
good team is going to beat you every time.